Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to take you on a tour of the nail garage and I'm starting outside. I thought I'd just show you. Um, this is like where you come outside. This is the entrance to the kitchen in my house and this is the garage. So this is where I work. I'll just take you in round here now. So when you come in, I'll just come in and close the door. So when you come in um, the door, I have this bookcase that I've just I've painted grey and I've got it hung up on the wall because there's like a an awkward space here as you come in the door that wasn't really good for anything. So I thought this bookcase just fitted perfect. Um, I have a few prints that my niece done for me. She's done me loads. Um, I've got a hand sanitizer here, just a wee slate that I've put the nail garage on. Uh, another print, my Wi-Fi details, another print. And then at the very top, I have some flowers and some champagne that my sisters bought me. So you've just come in the door and then you turn around and this is the area I sit in. Um, and to the side here, there is an old workbench because this was a garage and this was always here. So there's a vice here as well and just a big long workbench. And it has the usual stuff that any garage would have. So it has like pots of paint and lids and stuff like that. And I just got my mum to make me some <laughs> curtains to cover all that up. So there's the bookcase, the door. I have another print here on the wall. I love that one. I have uh, a few wee holes that I still need to sort out. Uh, the window here, I just have a wee lamp. And I also have some pods here um, and I haven't got my drink machine yet, but I will be getting one for hot drinks. And up here above that is my husband's Formula One collection. He's crazy about Michael Schumacher. He's been to like loads of races and stuff. He's just obsessed. So I had to come up, uh, had to come to a compromise with that because he didn't want to put all his cars into the attic he likes to display them so I don't mind I don't really care that they're there so he's got all those along the wall and below that I just have a wee sofa if anybody comes in they're waiting there's a sofa there I have a radiator and then on this wall here I have my sink and above that I have some more wee quotes and stuff um more he has more cars hung here so if i stand back i'll let you see the view of all the cars <laughs> so yeah um and then right here is my desk and my bookcase and my tv is up up, up there in the wall i have a few more wee pictures um so these chairs I got um, in Argos. I think they were half price at the time. They were just from 120 to 60. And they are, when they came, they were in Habitat. They were like from Habitat, but sold from Argos. My desk is Ikea. Um, I had a few spare prints that I just popped under the glass. My lamp is from Amazon. Um, if you've seen my last AliExpress haul, you'll have seen that I bought this wee hand rest and I absolutely love it. It's just perfect. So I've got that there. Um, right here, um, I have my light, which is brilliant it can turn the light turns it can swing back and forward it has different settings as well so you can go to like dull and light and stuff like that. I don't want to blind you but I think that was from Heyman or Haymar somewhere like that it was I think maybe about a hundred pounds and that's really really good my drill is a Melody Susie I have 
a extra phone clamp here if I want to film from a different angle. But I usually just have a clamp here on this light that points down to what I'm doing. Uh, what else have I got on the desk? Um, just my business cards, um, some antibacterial hand sanitizer, the remote for the TV, cuticle oil, and then I have this is what I would work with. It's gelish. It's quite expensive, but I love it. And I don't ever have any complaints of lifting or anything like that. So that's why I stick with this. I've got a cleanser and acetone here as well. Um, I'll take you through the bookcase first before I start looking through the drawers. But um, on this bookcase at the top, I have all the tips that I... I do nail art on, I try to display, and I just buy these um, frames from the works, and they're like three or four pound, and then I just stick the tips in. Um, these flowers are from my niece and her wife's wedding, so I like to keep those. Um, just another wee print there. More nails displayed. This is a wee flamingo that I bought from Sheen, but it's actually a nail tip holder, but I don't want to break break it, so I just like to keep it there on the shelf. This is the wee Mardi Gras set that I done that I haven't got put onto a frame yet, but I will eventually. They're just sat there in the meantime. Um, this is from Next. It's just a diffuser. My mum bought it to me. Down here is more display tips. A wee cactus. I think I bought this in the range maybe or b and bargain somewhere like that and more tips then on the next shelf i have this um this one plastic box and inside it's all my swatches for all the colors that i have um i have the stand for the aliana hand here um i just got her so i haven't really haven't even got used her yet she's still and our wee packet but the stands there i've got an extra iphone some nail tips swatch sticks tack it's just everything i need that way is on there and here now is like leads lights eliana hands there but she will be going on to that stand um i've got a wee drawers and there's got some charms and gems and stuff in there just stuff to do with the business um some more nail tips in there and these two bottom drawers are boxes these are just out of ikea as well i've got loads of these new pots i buy these in um amazon you get loads in there and i just depot all the glitters into that i've got some cleanser acetone monomer that's the clamp that i use when I'm filming, I'm recording what I'm doing. I just clamp that to the light there, like so. And I broke it the first day I got it. So I have to attach my phone with these two elastic bands. So that's what I'm working with. Anyway, back to here. Um, what else is in here? The cooking roll, stuff like that. Just, you know, the usual stuff that people gather up. Um, I've got loads of these wee paper backgrounds and in this box here I've got like a spare lamp, spare lights, more kitchen roll, um, all the kind of bigger electrics is there and then onto my desk I'm just going to sit down so I can go through everything and before I start I just let you know that I have watched a lot of um, tour videos and nail room vlogs and stuff and uh, people are very organized and neat and tidy and I am not <laughs> I'm a messy bitch so just <laughs> putting that out there before I even start going through these drawers so the first drawer is full of uh, nail files nippers cuticle pushers tweezers stuff like that we brushes and buffers just yeah stuff that everybody likes to have to hand back here's all new files spare files 
these things here for soaking off more buffers i have this foil that i get in sally's and it's just really handy for soak offs because it's kind of the perfect size so that's that drawer and the second drawer is all my uh art brushes so i've got all my nail brushes all laid out here of these two new ones that i got in my latest alley haul that i have done but haven't put up yet um a couple of palettes here some tip holders um and then i've got a set of madame glam paints back there so that's that drawer in here is um these lipstick applicators that i buy on amazon i just use these with a wee bit of cleanser or acetone to uh, do any cleanups that i need to do around the nail net um in the second wee pot i have eyeshadow applicators um for putting on pigments and stuff like that then i have this pot which is full of spare um bands sand and bands heads and stuff for my melody susie i've got more sand and bands here and then i've got this wee box that i just recently got as well uh full of heads then i have um lint free wipes these are um from sheen i think or ali one or the other but um, they're okay i do like them but sometimes they do give off a wee bit of lint. So I prefer to uh, use these waxing strips. These are just out of Sally's. And I cut them up and you really do not get any lint off these at all. So they're, they're really good. Some wee nail brushes. And this drawer here is a bit of a disaster. Um, I have this box here and it's full of glitter. And if you watch my last two hauls, you'll see that it was just glitter hauls. Um, so I really need to maybe dedicate a full drawer now to just glitters because I have way too many of them. So um, I think I might do that. These is like four and five deep in this box full of glitters. Then I have this wee box here. It's just full of bits and bobs. It's stuff like this that, you know, I don't want to take out of this while it's just, I just can't be bothered. And these, like, I don't see the point of taking these out of these wee boxes that they're already in. So I have these here. I have some striping tape. We tiny, tiny gems that if I put them anywhere, they would probably get lost. I've got, like, um pigments and chromes stuff like that um for like we gold leaf um mylar these be stars just bits and bobs that i don't really know what to do with so they're all in that box there i will eventually try and sort it out um in this drawer as well i've got started to put away stuff for a giveaway so that's what those two boxes is for um i've got pigments back there spare stampers um and this envelope here it's just full of striping tape like striping stickers just loads of like different stickers on here all different um i have this as well that's full of decals um my wee glitter thingamajigger that i love for doing swatches and stuff or using for putting glitter on people so that's that drawer and it is really messy and needs sorting out but i mean it's not high up my list at the minute this drawer here is all my stamping stuffs here so i've got a stamping plates in here stamping plates here spare ones up in the side got rollers 
polish, everything, stampers, everything I need to do with stampings there. And then in the back, I've got one of these big folders that's full of foils. So that's that drawer done. I'm moving over then to this side. And these um, Alex drawers, did I tell you, these are from Ikea as well. Uh, and the top drawer is just like money, pens, these rings. I really need to find a place for these. Uh, I got these for my Aliana hand. So they've just been through in here. I really need to sort it out. I've got my diary in here, sketch pads. Um, that's really all that's in there. And this drawer, I bought some hard gels, builder gels, top coats, base coats, some glue. The next drawer is full of polishes, and these are mostly Premier Gel polishes. There's some Madame Glams in here as well, and I've got some uh, just wee nail tips for doing nail art on. Um, I did have this drawer all organized um, from like white pale natural colors all the way down to darks and glitters but as you can see i think it lasted about two days and i don't have that much stuff that i just can't look in this drawer and find it so i don't go crazy with being organized as you can well see this drawer here is just miscellaneous just there's everything in here madam glam nail nails there's blue sky Miley, there's some Premier Gels, I got this the other day, McCart, I don't know why I struggle to say that so much, but it's just some nail glue, uh, I just got it off Amazon, and I also got this, uh, just a wee top coat, because I don't like using my expensive top coat for doing practice nails and nail art and stuff, and then in the bottom drawer, is all the acrylic stuff and i still need to do which i'm going to hopefully do soon um some swatches on those the acrylics that i got um i have acrylics from nail nail so i've got their crystal clear perfect blush white and natural beige and then i've got a few wee colors just um like twisted tango ruby red this we want here is musical and it's got like a, a shimmer through it um toxic apple and this one is called it's just a gray and it's called tribal accent um i've got some monomer in there some spare tips tips at the back um yeah, uh, just everything for practice my my acrylic because I am in the middle of doing that course. So that's those drawers done. Um, I don't know what else I can show you really. I'm just tidy these back up again. So yeah, this is where I spend most of my time. Uh, when I'm filming and stuff like that, I love, absolutely love it on here. I'll just tidy this back in the drawer. Um. I absolutely love it so this is why it's called the nail garage because it's still half half garage all these cars and stuff and then I do nails in it as well and do the filming and stuff and I absolutely love it it's just my wee my wee go-to place uh, my wee happy place so uh thank you so much for coming and having a look around uh if you've any questions let me know um please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time. Bye.